am welcome back to my channel Ikamalam Gunako and if you're new to this channel you're very much welcome we're so happy to have you here please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button and be part of this beautiful family and yeah if you're a returning savvy you know what time it is you know what day it is so you better say it with me baby thank you and welcome back and thank you for tuning in again my love so yeah also guys if you're not following me on instagram please do follow me on instagram ikamalam gunako underscore maola i do not have any twitter account so if you see any any person who looks like me or uses my pictures out there hit me up because i do not have a twitter account okay for my own reasons obviously but yeah you know what time it is we are doing a story time because wow i think i always do this to you guys i always go in my aim then come back with the story time to compensate me missing in action so this is exactly that yes i am manipulating my way back into your lives because makes sense so yeah um you know what to do here is either you get comfortable you get yourself something to drink put your phone in the charger data wi-fi whatever whatever battery guys everything pull through because i am back with another story time and in this in this story time i'm gonna be having a juice a cold depressed juice that i made myself because the sis is staying away from alcohol because she's trying to lose weight right so yeah, it's either I'll be doing water or in my juices, guys, until further notice. Okay, do not hold that against me. I beg. <laughs> I don't know if I'm too dark, but I think I'm just a perfect tone. What do you guys think? So, um, in today's video, okay, guys, we're having a story time. So yeah i don't even know what to call the story time yet but i felt like just sharing uh, this experience with you guys basically this story is about my um first ever not first ever but yeah my uh, my my high school boyfriend which was my high school crush right so this guy was my high school crush i'm gonna we're gonna have to give you him a name um his name is sia yeah so sia was a high school crush so let me tell you what happened between me and sia and certain incident that unfolded between me and sia so okay guys sia was a high school crush um at that time was in namnangama oh i got a crush and Kengoku. obviously sometimes the crush guys doesn't have to know that you're crushing right only your friends are supposed to know that you're crushing right 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 this smells nice it tastes gingery <laughs> i think i did put too much ginger here also if you hear any background new um background noise guys i did mention it to, i didn't mention it to you guys that i stay inside a mall so you're gonna be hearing cars and another thing is i could be shooting this video at night but then we're gonna have low shedding so it's either now or never right so your pick pick a struggle huh can't you hear me you hear me right you do so yeah we'll see ya guys it was a high school crush um pretty much told my friends about him but um, girls me i am crushing on this gent right okay we were a group of friends i think we were, there was like four of us including me yeah i think there was four of us including me so kegler for you two guys also usia has his own group right and also my certain friends on this group are kind of crushing on sia's other friends it's, it's like that thing guys we are in this group they are in that they are that group and then you know you you pick your own crush there so i picked him he was a dark guy he was into soccer <laughs> meaning why you fainting <laughs> you know why you and dark and and hardcore right hmm he was pretty hardcore yo got that guys that guy put me through the most though yo is there a story i'll ever tell you 
No, this is a brain. No, this is a brain. I'm starting. I'm starting to believe that this is actually my brain. Ain't no way. Ain't no effing way. Hi, gay guys. So fine, gay. Tell my friends about this crush. Every time I see this guy, guys, I get butterflies. I feel sick. You know, every, every, every time, right? So, brothers, I was going to the initiation school, right? Um, if you are closer or if you're not closer, it's an initiation school. It's sort of like where the young boys go, get circumcised and all of that. They kind of stayed there for a month, right? So, he went there, right? And, yeah, and my other friend, my other friend was friends with him. Yeah, but so this other friend who used to visit him there. By the way, girls are allowed there as long as you don't have a child. You're allowed there. If you have a child and you're a mother or you're a married woman, you're not allowed. But if you recall, you are very much allowed to go there. But then I never went because I never had the guts to go because I've always been like, <laughs> every time I'm around him, I've like, I felt like, not for like, I felt but like puking every time I'm around him, you know, and we were in different schools. He was in another school. I was in another school. We were in different schools. So yeah, man, he came back. And when they come back, was that ceremony that is done to celebrate them coming back alive and you know celebrate them that now they are officially men. You know, it, it kind of gives them is yeah they are yeah their place in society as men. You know, so now he's a man. <laughs> and I'm so acting like a stupid girl. Mm. So he comes back. He, um, yeah, um, the friend that's friends with him. Uh, let's give this friend a name. Let's call this friend Usnazo. So Usnazo is friends with Usia, right? Honestly speaking, it's just a friendship. Nothing more. Um, Usnazo is dating Sia's friend, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it's that situation. Um, long story short, as we girls, we always share everything. We always share how we feel about our crushes. And, you know, they've always, like, asked me, tell him, talk to him. I'm like, girl, ain't gonna happen. What do you mean? Me. Talk to him. What would I... What, what would I do that? So I never did. But, gay okay, guys. Okay, Snazu decides to visit me, right? So she visits me and she tells me, go to one of our friends, because like I said, we were four, there was four of us. One of our friends um, slept with Usia. One of, one of, one of, one of my girls, one of the girls that are in our circle slept with Usia. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, they, they seem to be dating. I'm like, what? But this person knew how I felt about this man. And, and she was like, yeah, Chomi, you know, I'm sorry. I also didn't know. I only heard about it yesterday. And I thought I should tell you because I can see no one wants to tell you. Now, that's, that's unfortunate, you know? So, at this point, I am shattered because I'm thinking there is no chance of me with this man. There is no chance of me with being with this man at all. Because now this man decided, or one of my friends decided to beat me to it because this friend knew very well how I felt about him. And when I asked the friend about it, because uh, yes, ma'am, I did, I did. I went to her, I confronted her, I'm like, why would you do that? And she's like, no, well, he came to me, and, 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 and bear in mind, guys, I grew up knowing if you sleep with a guy that comes back, that, that just got back from the initiation school, you, it's, it's not a good thing, because for some reason, they will, you know, they will rub off their oil that's applied down there, on you and that will make people kind of like not like you apparently that oil makes people not like you so you should wait for him to kind of sleep with other people so at this point i'm thinking 
So you allowed this man to sleep with you after he came back from the initiation school. Why would you do that? And she's like, nah, no man, those things are just a myth and an end. I'm like, hmm. I'm like, so you guys dating? And she's like, yeah, we are. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, it's fine then. I'm hurt, and this is this is this is this means me and you are no longer friends. Because why would your friend do that to you? My point exactly. So I, I, I did cut that friend off, but I continued being friends with the other three friends, with the other two friends, because there's three of us now. So, okay, guys. Did Usinazo? Usinazo decided to go behind my back and tell Usia that I have a crush on him, right? I did not know this. I, I, did, I did not know this. I did not. I promise you, I did not know this. So on this one particular day, I'm chilling at home and a kid pulls through and like, is Nako here? I'm like, yeah, I am Nako. And the kid says, well, Upo to see ya. Because now they're giving this new, you know, title, booty. You know, Upo to see ya. Says, oh, Upo to see ya wants to see you outside. I'm like, what? Who? What? Who wants to see me? Like, I'm like, what? But I'm like freaking out because I'm thinking, oh my god, maybe it's because of um, that girl because I went to that girl, confronted that girl and like, kind of like ended our friendship. Like, why? I'm like, why? Why does he want to see me? And the kid is like, no, I don't know. He just wants to see you. I'm like, okay, cool. Tell him I'm coming. Ah, guys, at this point, I feel like shit in myself. I, I, I'm having stomach aches. Like, my stomach is growling. Like, at this point, I'm having a diarrhea. I want to go to the toilet so bad. Hi, guys. I really like at all cool and normal. Went outside. And, yeah. And, and it was about to rain. Right? Yeah, it was about to rain. And it was like around 4, 5. Not not at night and then he says hi how are you i'm like i'm fine how are you guys i'm nervous i was i was i was hot my face was burning i'm like and he's like yeah and i'm the sharp um so i will you know like he, he he's like no man i've been seeing you and i think you're cute i'm like things are cute <laughs> I'm like really oh thanks guys at this point I'm like I see where this is going this is not about what I thought it was and it's like yeah man and well it back in those days get guys guys we it was easy for them to like ask you out like can you be my girlfriend right so it's like yeah I think a kid I like you um I haven't been I want to put it in his exact words because it makes sense and yeah <laughs> um, that be cherry am. you know meaning please be my girlfriend <laughs> please say here say that here I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'll be your girlfriend. He's like, for real? Like, okay, then prove it to me. Like, this is that thing, guys. You must prove. You must prove. If you say yes, you must prove. So he's like, prove it to me. Prove it to me that, you know, you're my girlfriend. I'm like, okay, cool. And then we started kissing. Ah, guys, when we kiss, Guaneta. That time I just relaxed my hey, this girl. Hey, I tell you, the men, eh? The way we love men, shame. I did not even worry about my relaxed hair. I recently re like relaxed my hair. And you know what happens when you just relax your hair and demand it in Ah, it's, it's, it's gonna be hectic. So, we kissing and kissing, holding hands. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then I was like, and then he was, he he was like, 
um, who you going to who, who you going to school with tomorrow morning? I'm like, no, I usually walk alone. Like, okay, cool. I'll pass by and then we can walk together. I'm like, and then I went home. I came home. I was excited. I couldn't believe. I was like, oh, Jesus! You know, I was really excited. Following day, time for me to go to school. He's outside. Okay, not really in front of my house, but two houses away from my house because we respect elders this side. I get walking to school. So while we're walking, I decided to bring this other girl up because I'm like, what happened between you and the other girl? And then he's like, ah, oh, no, it, uh, nothing happened. It was just a two night thing because I was just coming back from the initiation school so you know i had to do that thing and stuff and stuff otherwise i've always liked you and yeah she really threw it off at me he, and by the way i believed my man because i stood by my friend no i believed my man you mm -mm. I'm like, oh, okay, no, it's fine. And I was, I was, I was still, like, no, 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 I'm with you. I'm only with you. We're exclusive. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah, I get guys. Um, at this point, I'm excited. We call each other. It's, 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 it's that vibe, you know? It's that vibe. Until, until this man now wanted us to have a second see. Who? Which was now a problem, huh? Which was now a problem because I was not ready at all to have sex with him i was not ready and you know he kind of treated me like i'm a child like he would like what, what are you scared of you know i was really not ready to have sex um and at that point i re i recently had like nah my periods of like I'm scared, you know, I was really scared. So fast forward, me and this guy broke up, right? Broke up, reason being I'm so childish. And and by the way, he broke up with me. He broke up with me. And another thing is because I moved, I was no longer staying in the same area. I moved to this other area, which was quite far, which was three hours away. So obviously it was not gonna work out. But then I came back, right? I came back and this time it's holidays I think it was December holidays so I came back and yeah man I'm looking better than the last time he saw me okay so we kind of like rekindle because at the end of the day I never really stopped loving him I feel like I have always loved him I did not even try to start dating other people because I was always like ah, someone wants him you know so when i came back we took off where we left off and yeah and then he invited me get guys to his place ah! <laughs> invited me to his place hi again very well went to his place see um fine see i'm not gonna miss and we have to do this during the day because i'm not allowed to sleep out whatever we do is during the day i guess so we okay fine i decided to go to his place um and then when i got to this place we chilled for a bit right by the way girl guy has sort of like not sort of hey me he has a shack right um across the street from his home so we went to his shack, I came. One thing led to another. We did the deed, obviously. I can't even give you a feedback and say the deed was amazing. It was fucking hell. But that's not the point. It was hell because I guess man, I was I was new to these things and I was not enjoying the deed. I think it was that phase of my life where I was not enjoying the deed. Period. So okay, guys, after we've done the deed, now we are chilling and just talking most. Pillow talk. Hey. I get beeps. I had a knock. Ba 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 ba. From the door. This guy says. Hey. Ah, 
I'm thinking no. And then they're like, hey guys, I keep quiet. Hey, this person knocks from the door. This person moves from the door and knocks to the hey, no, keep the steering. Went to the window. On the window. And by the way, the bed is right underneath the window. I can. I'm nervous as f because you know what makes what makes me nervous. I can see in his face that he is shook, like he's shook, he's freaked. And then he's quiet. Hey, and then this person says, "See ya, Vula. I know you inside." So basically, this person said, "See ya. Open the door. I know you inside. Open the damn door." And I looked at him because I could hear it's a it's, it's a girl. I looked at him, and he looked at me, and he did, he he looked away. And this went on and on and on, ne? And then this girl said, "I will fucking kick this door." And then he stood up. He got dressed. While he's getting dressed, he took my clothes and gave them to me and said, "Get dressed." Ah, guys, I knew, I knew, Godi. Whoever is behind this door. Is not my match. I am not even going to attempt to try or hey, attempt anything because this one is definitely not my match. I get guys. I quickly got dressed while I was busy zipping up my hoodie. This girl kicked the door open, bam, <laughs> and then he jumped inside. And then like, oh, so this is the reason you're not opening the door. And then see, I was holding this girl like, what are you doing? Why you gotta be this wretched? You know, pushing this girl out like, can you please leave? You know? And I'm just standing there like, what is this? What is this? What is this? You know? Hi guys. They did this pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling. Um, until see, I literally told this girl, I don't want you. Can you please get out? Get out of my shack. Get out. And then this girl got out and left. And I was like, to see, can you please, can you please walk me to the taxi rank? Because that's what I said. I said, can you please walk me to the taxis? He's like, okay, cool. He's like, I'm sorry about this. Um, this is my, 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 my ex-girlfriend and, and, and. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, why is your ex-girlfriend here banging doors? Why? He's like, no, I don't know. He just doesn't want to accept that we don't. I no longer want her. No, 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 no. Guys, this girl comes back with Sia's sister. Sia's sister is already like shouting. How dare you chase her out? You know? And then see so said like, oh you see, you're seeing new, 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 new bums now. That's why you are acting this way. I wanna put it in this because it's gonna make sense. You're like, oh bonin pundos in chango. That's why you got tell them that bonin pundos in chango. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I was like shook of thinking, what is this? What is this? You know? Hi okay, guys, Nyani, I left. Um, she was very sorry over the phone, but obviously I forgave him because I loved him, right? I did. I loved him. So, um, and this, and at this point, I have moved back to this side. I was gonna go to school that side, you know, like one day when i get a chance i'll do a sit down video and just tell you guys about my upbringing things i went through the back and forth of schools all of that so that you guys can understand when i say one year i'm this side one year i'm in that side because yeah that was my life so i'm back again starting this side i'm still dating this guy right so now me and this guy dating back and forth back and forth this guy says to me he knows that i can't sleep out and i'm saying with my grandmother at this point he knows i can't sleep out this guy says to me one particular night he says um can you please come over can you come and sleep over i'm like but you know i can't sleep out and then he's like if you really love me 
you gotta make a plan and come and sleep over. And go! Okay, I started thinking of a plan like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Spoke to my aunt, because my aunt knew I was dating the guy, so I was very open with my aunt. My aunt, yeah. My grandmother, no, she was not gonna allow that. Spoke to my aunt, I'm like, yo, listen, Usiya wants me to sleep there, and I don't know how to do it. My aunt is like, no, wait for everyone to go sleep. Just say to your grandmother, you're going to sleep a garden, which is a shack in my yard, right? Just just tell Umakulu that you're going to sleep a garden. I'm like, oh, okay. And then my aunt tried to do this drama of us, like, because we were sharing a bed. So my aunt was like shouting at me at night saying, I hate how you sleep. No, 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 no. You, you know? So we're fighting about the fact that we cannot share a bed because she sleeps in a way that I'm not happy with and also she sees I sleep in a way she's not happy with. Basically, so she's like, no, 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 please go and sleep with Kalin. So I'm like, it's fine, I'll go and sleep with Kalin. That time, guys, you see, see, Stella, 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 you know, a girl is sleeping out. So I told this guy, but listen, at the 10, come and pick me up because it's gonna be dark and I'm scared I can't walk alone. He's like, okay, cool, I'll come pick you up. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. Dude, by 10, the lights are off, Akaya. I was sneaking out of home, sneaking out. Um, yeah, and I started sleeping out. That's how I fucking started sleeping out, <laughs> you know. And it was such an overwhelming experience because I'm scared. What if I get caught, you know? My, I'm always checking my phone because I know if, if they're looking for me, they're going to call me. Right? If they can't find me, they will definitely try and call me. So, points, I am like... So I'm sleeping out, um, like the relation, it's a relationship now. I sleep out, I sneak out and sleep out. But the thing is I must wake up very early. I must wake up before five and be home because my grandfather wakes up very, very early, right? So I can't, I can't be coming, mm, it's gonna mm, cause problems, it's gonna be an issue. Okay, so now this is what happened. Nay. This guy tells me the ex-girlfriend is pregnant. Oh, wow. So the ex-girlfriend is pregnant and, and, and. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, well, I still want nothing to do with her. I'll just take care of my child when the child is born. I'm like, okay, cool. By the way, this girl was pregnant before me and him got back together. So I'm like, okay, it's not a train smash because at this point I'm thinking... Okay, at least it didn't happen while we're back together, you know? Okay, guys, we date me and this guy. So, obviously now, this guy is doing funny things. He's being shady. He's being unavailable. When I call him, he pick, doesn't pick up my calls. All those funny vibes, man. And then this particular day, he says to me, he needs airtime and stuff. I don't know, there was an emergency at home and stuff. So, I quickly steal airtime for him in my father's phone. Yeah. Things we do for life. I stole airtime for him in my father's phone. And then in that very same night he came to pick me up. So I slept in his place. So while we're in his place, I took his phone and then I went through his phone. When I went through his phone, I realized this man, the airtime I bought him, he actually called his ex girlfriend, the baby, Mama to be right guys i was shattered because i'm thinking i don't even have airtime i literally stole airtime for you you know that will that was gonna be the airtime I, I, for me because i usually stole airtime from my father you know just to yeah to have airtime in my phone at this point we're arguing okay, guys about this whole thing we're arguing or we're arguing we're arguing about this whole thing did this guy not slap me slapped me because I'm asking too many questions and yeah 
he can't even answer me so he slapped me i quickly took my sheet oh he took my phone from me took my clothes got dressed and i think the time at that time was 1 a.m yeah i walked back home walked back home and slept early in the morning i think it was around seven yeah he sent some kids to bring my phone no explanation he didn't call he didn't do shit the following day i called him i said i want to talk and then he said okay cool i should pull through and it was during the day it was a very very hot day i still remember that day um and he yeah i went to his place and we were chilling outside and we were talking about what happened and then he was like look um yeah man he's he's not ready for a relationship anymore and yeah he wants a break that's what i said he wanted a break and i'm like what do you mean we want a break what does that mean a break for how long he's like well i don't know we'll see but i want a break I was like, okay cool guys i was shattered i was shattered i remember i went home and i cried myself to sleep and at that time i think there was that adele song called mm -hmm. someone like you it was new you know yo i was listening to that song through and through i felt like that song i don't know whether it was comforting or torturing or related again i used to listen to that song like nobody's business so I'm hopeful at the same time because when I tell my friends about this, they're like, no man, it's a break. It didn't say you guys have, bro have broken up. You guys are just on a break, you know? Just give each other some space. You're gonna be fine. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I was, that kind of comforted me in a way. Fine, long story short. I, so in this particular stupid day, I decided to go to the shops, guys. Did I not meet up with my boyfriend with her ex? pregnant girlfriend guys and they're playing like come on money it's it's couple goals like love lives here yeah, family vibes i was stunned i yo guys i was like oh my god and imagine because this is that like we are walking on the same street and the girl looked at me and the guy looked at me and they both passed he acted like he has never seen me anyway in this life and i kind of got it to go to look maybe that was my confirmation that yeah it is what it is it's 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 over you know um yeah and he didn't call back he didn't explain i mean he didn't call not call back he didn't call he never explained i never also got like the courage to take so whatever i just kept quiet because i mean he said we want a break at the end of the day so i'm guessing the break he needed it so he can fix things that side right also i was shattered i was hurt because i still loved the guy i still loved him for some reason i did hi guys i'm so shorty um yeah mr came back again i think after like um, two months and i was waiting doing nothing with my life just waiting and i took it back do you know what he did this time he dumped me for some new girl he got hey guys i mean i've been through it the most this man dumped me from some for some new girl that new girl that he got you know and i remember he dumped me within two days i was seeing him with the girl and also i had rumors that there was going to be a party this girl was doing a party in his in her place so he will be missed a part so okay guys nyani apparently the party happened when we missed a partish and there's actual there's actually Mr. party so i had from the you know 
Yeah, from other people that went to the party that well Okay, I had another boyfriend actually the boyfriend that was throwing the party So the Mr. Party that we all thought is a Bangusia No No, in fact, he was thrown out of the party by the actual Mr. Party Talk about karma, bitch Talk about karma <laughs> And I was so happy because I was happy that a girl was a Muya. That means he's gonna come back here and he did. <laughs> he did. He came back to me. Such a clam, right? You know. But girl, you guys, obviously at this point I have learned to live with the, without this man. At this point, I'm I'm kinda like cut full. Cut full with his BS right so yeah i was also seeing people like so i started dating this other guy started dating this other guy and the guy treated me so nicely you know the guy treated me so nicely guys he didn't stay far from my house he was a sweet man Oh my god he was so sweet we used to like walk to school together uh, also when we're coming back we wait for each other we'd pass through spa we'd get like snacks as we were walking we you know it was just like a perfect person for me at this point he was treating me like an egg <sighs> so we had broken up me and sia obviously at this point so i'm seeing this guy strictly this guy and i'm happy man i'm in a good place i'm spoiled i am i'm taken to dates like it's 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 good right it's it's a good vibe man yeah so this day i'm at school <laughs> chilling and Sia takes me. It's a rainy day. Sia takes me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. How are you? Like, I'm good. I miss you, man. I'm like, ah, whatever. Like, at this point, I'm so immune to his BS that I really don't, I'm not goo goo gaga. But for some reason, he has so much power over me. Make sense? I don't know if it does. So he's like, oh, it's a rainy day. No, 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 I miss you. Um, yeah, can I wait for you after school? I'm like, no, don't. He's like, please, I just want to walk with you. Nothing hectic. I'm like, okay, cool. And young guys, we walk together. After school, he waits for me to walk together from his school. I, I got into my house. Like, I didn't go to his place. He went home, right? Like, at this point, he came back as a friend. We started like talking and Jay, it's like we were friends now. We, yeah, and by the way, my boyfriend doesn't know about this, doesn't know that I'm talking to him. I, um, so I don't know what happened actually. I think it was stupid, stupid, stupid day. I went to his place and we were chilling vibing watching movies and just enjoy being casual with each other because there's nothing here anymore right and then he started talking about how much he loves me about how much he fucked up most of the time and how much i never gave up on him and how much he he he, he loved me for that you know and 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 ciao this this bridge not end up sleeping with this nigga. <sighs> I did. I ended up sleeping with him. And I don't know why the fuck did I do that for. So yeah, we too. I was mad, mad, mad at myself for that. I'm not gonna take that away from like the whole thing slept with him and i kind of begged him i was like dude please can you keep this between us he's like what do you mean you're my girlfriend we're back together i'm like no he's like Naka, what do you mean like at this point i'm like dude it's not like that 
it's really not like that and to be honest i still did love him but i just knew that ugh, it's gonna be the same cycle so i really had no interest in putting myself through the same thing i've been putting myself through you know i was having someone who was treating me nicely like really nicely and this one is just a bad boy g bad boy vibes it's it's one thing there's always someone new with him so um I, I told him like look i have a person i'm dating someone he's like yeah i know you're dating that boy like you know how 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 close a man will literally look down on each other just because of a woman so he was like no i'm like yo he's a man just like you stop and he treats me better than you no 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 he's like ah whatever you know he was like that ah whatever we both know that you're mine and he was saying those things for some reason i was flattered so for some reason i was like i liked hearing that but i was like please keep your mouth shut so i assumed things are in order tell me why my boyfriend takes me and says nako where were you yesterday at this time <laughs> please tell me i'm like what i was at home like don't you dare lie to me guys i denied it for a good two weeks and that guy was like firm saying i will not have anything to do with you but unless you tell me the truth yo i was like no no rather than be sure guys i'd rather die than just literally say so I was denying guys, yo, I was denying guys. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking, oh my god, how the fuck did you even know? Because I knew that he knew. Because he told me at some point, but I know you were with Usia. You slept with Usia. You went back to Usia after everything he did to you. After every, the, every, after the way he treated you. You know? I'm like, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> but I was not willing to like. Um, admit all I wanted to know though was you know and eventually eventually he told me that actually he's the one who told me so yeah so see I literally did that on paper so that he could end that relationship so that he could have me to himself you know and I was stunned to be honest like that was low of him and he told me that look see i told me everything you guys had said showed me conversations everything so you can't even deny shit i was just hoping hoping that you would tell me it's a lie but i can like i can really see it in your eyes nako that you did this and guys we to went to nama was tired of denying you know I was really tired of denying and to be honest i was i liked the guy i liked how he treated me i liked how he loved me but i didn't love him back i just loved how he loved me make sense i didn't i didn't feel him back and our relationship was very new like it was two months old so i was still bruised obviously from see ya so yeah i then decided that ma'am see i started dating an older woman way older than him and me actually i think that woman was 10 years older than the both of us so that woman was like tormenting me so that's when i ended things with usia officially and i literally never looked back <laughs> ever yeah i met sia a few years ago even now like i think few few months ago he texted me hey i'd love to see you but guys i mean i can never happen again like ever it's just it's just not possible I, I, it's not a brain it can it can never at all so yeah So yeah guys that's another story time of mine with my shitty 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 situationships 
but anyways we've come to an end of our story i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to show some love thumbs up leave your comment down below and thank you for watching i'll see you guys on my next video bye